Hello and welcome to another quick look. This time we are taking a look at the pre-civilization Marble Age by Clarus Victoria. And it is kind of a builder game, kind of Civ style, but very, very uh, simplified. And it's also available on mobiles. And uh, my first uh, thought when I saw this game was that this is a very cheap looking a mobile port. It, it is definitely a mobile port, as you can see from the existing uh, options, like there is, these are these are the sound options and this is the graphical options, full screen or not. But it is actually quite fun and quite uh, nice in mechanics. I was uh, really surprised when I actually played the game. My, my first thought was that, ah, this is one of these crappy games again, but it's, it was not, definitely. So let's uh, play the game and I'll show you how it works a bit. So there we go, here's my current profile, so we're gonna start a new one. And uh, you have options uh, to play with Athens or Sparta. Athens is the original campaign and Sparta was added later on. And uh, Sparta one is much, much harder than Athens. And they have a bit different uh, focus on play. Sparta is very warlike and Athens can play a bit differently as well. So let's go with Athens. You have three difficulties and we're gonna go with easy because even easy is very difficult in this game. Uh, the game definitely uh, supports uh, trial and error, so you have to kind of play the game multiple times to get a good bearing what you need to do to survive very well. So we get the features of fortress, of democracy and culture, strong science and diplomacy and peaceful city with a weak army, so we can try to do as good uh, fighting as with uh, Spartans, as they have stronger army. You also uh, can select the perk, so that's the steady militia, army is stronger, culture growth is lower, Fertile soil, we produce more food, farmers uh, limit less by 5%. Advanced shipbuilding, so we get more sh ships. We can do love to freedom, tax collectors generate more money. And production, army is even weaker, not good. Army is weaker, <laughs> and science, and uh, more culture and production in health. I'm gonna go actually with the uh, steady militia. Uh, you are gonna have to fight a lot in this game even if you are trying to be peaceful. So having a strong army is very important. And culture by 5% is not too bad. And I guess we are going to be solid. So let's start this. And let's go through the tutorial as well. The foundation of Athens. People from nearby tribes have decided to found a new city, Athens. The main values will be democracy, peace and culture. With a lot of uh, enemies and a weak army, Athens will need to have a lot of powerful allies. The strong side culture. Main goal, unite the entire known world. And there's the different uh, turn limits. Uh, which I have not actually yet survived, even to the 301. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't actually won the game yet. Let's start. So this is the screen you'll be watching most of the time. This is your city. And it will grow eventually. But I'll, I'll show you that. So we are starving a bit, it seems. This is the center of your settlement. Here uh, the people produced a small amount of production, culture and gold. Now we uh, now we shorten food. To grow your settlement, you need to you need, uh, need to send uh, some of the workers to produce food. Okay. So this is the city you have. So this is the city center building. It's producing a... a this one. This was uh, production, culture, and uh, gold at the, same, at the moment, and there's eight people in there. So we can move uh, people between these by dragging these. Uh, currently we have only the farm, so if I move this, you see that the uh, production amount lowers and people in this, this and the lower as well. So they're getting like unused people, but they still produce you uh, stuff. And uh, this one produces your fo uh, food, as you can see this is now higher and it's starvation. And uh, this is your amount of people in your village, so we at the moment have 8, so 2 and uh, 6. And uh, this is your population growth, so you have maximum of 12, and this is uh, increasing by 1.12 now. And same on these. So, we have a new mission here. Era of Unification of Attica. People of, uh, from neighboring village are migrating to our city. It will accelerate our development, so population growth is... By 40%, gold is 150, and we got some warriors and gold once we do that. And we also have a ability to spend civilization points. 
you start with a certain amount of these, and then you can uh, buy different things with the points. And as you play the game, you earn the points, but this is a definitely a remnant from the mobile origins, which I, I'm not really happy about this part of the game, but it's, it's there. Uh, I've ignored it totally. As you don't really have to do it. it. It does help a lot if you actually use one of these boosts. But anyways. So the other things we have here is uh, technology. This is the tech menu. And uh, you can uh, choose new technologies, which allows you to build more things and upgrade your things. And there's actually three levels on all of these. Uh, sorry, two levels. Uh, so once you've gone through everything, you go to a second tire, where you can go th through the whole tech tree again to level them up second level to unlock even more things and it's actually very very nice tech system and uh, culture points increase your science points which allow you to choose things so we should uh, really get some science go uh, culture going and these are the buildings you can get by uh, unlocking tech so there's a lot of buildings these usually are like uh, increases population limit increases uh, lots of uh, different limits and allows you to produce uh, different things and same as the technology, there is two uh, tires on these, so you first build basically everything and then you build them again. And then we have the world map here. So this is the creek area of the world. And this is your starting map. So you have to take over Greece first, first, so you can explore the areas when you get the scouts, so you can settle some areas. There is already settled enemy territories here, or maybe allies even. And uh, you can take them over, or you can ally with them. And eventually, when you fit, uh, fit, you hit a certain point in the game, this map actually expands to basically whole of Europe. So this is just a starting map, and you start at Greece, and then you start to fight the whole whole of Europe, or more or less. So you take over uh, Spain and Italy and uh, London or England. So it gets bigger as well. So there's uh, quite a lot of depth in that. Then we have Diplomacy here, so we have a uh, Nossos, known uh, civilization but not in contact yet, and same with Sparta. And you can do trade with them, you can go kill them, you can do a lot of things with they, them as well. You can ask them to help you fight uh, invading forces, and it's quite nice. But anyways, let's uh, play uh, some turns, so we see how this goes. This is. Uh, a lot of uh, clicking next turn, and you see these going up all the time. So I'm just gonna max my population quickly because uh, having as much po people as possible is always very good, as it allows you to produce more stuff. So we now got our first uh, science point, which allows me to unlock uh, one of these things. So we have the plant growing already. Uh, we could get uh, crafting. Which uh, makes central workers generate 50% more stuff. We can increase the maximum limit of population by 10, which is one the one we want, and unlocks housing. So we get this higher, and we can produce more people. And uh, this also gatherers become farmers, and the farmer efficiency, farming efficiency, goes higher, and we can put some more people in there. But I'm gonna get the pottery first, so we can get just get tons and tons of people. So there we go, that's now researched, and this just went up. So let's just click a few turns here. Uh, did we actually get the housing? Uh, no, it was the... No, it was... Unlocks building housing, yes. So we can build houses now, we need production at 10, so it's gonna take about 8-ish turn in total. Uh, but since we have two, so it's only like 6 turns to get the house, which will increase the population limit by a lot, but that point uh, will actually start to start up because this farm is not going to be able to support that many people. But we have a new tech level. You, you get these early tech levels very quickly, so I'm going to get the farmers next. So I'm going to put even more people into the farming here and get even more people into the, my city. And we have a new settler, which uh, you can actually see the production here. So. Uh, this amount uh, shows you how many new population you need to get a settler, and we just got one settler, and the next one is that, basically 500. And it's same on all of these, you get scouts at a certain production limit, you get uh, 
as well science at say certain science points ships you get traders in the army you get uh, generals when you get enough army made and in uh, gold you get envoys so doing all of these is quite important but we're gonna colonize the middle crease it will give us a uh, culture and production and colony is producing a uh, pro uh, production and gold so there we go and you can choose uh, the foundation of the colony you can uh, choose a kind of specialization of the colony and what do you want from there so we could get population very little gold is actually quite nice and the production is not too bad either I'm gonna actually go for the production so we can get a uh, some nice production from there and you can see details in here and these are uh, level up as well so they become uh, more and more powerful for, for, for you so they're quite nice in that way so now we are getting actually a lot of production and we have a lot of people so we need those houses really quickly because uh, next time uh, um, we are gonna actually hit the population limit there so we are now limit reached and there's too much workers there producing too much uh, food for me but we can now do the housing which I'm gonna build and there we go some houses in the city center and we could get a uh, mythology unlocks occupation enlightenment every worker generates two culture per turn and maximum workers then or uh, we could produce more resources at the city center let's do that and we'll get the mythology next I guess so these guys are now producing even more gold and everything for me and we have now 100 people limit in here and these uh, numbers snowball really quickly you have very very big numbers of people and stuff quickly in the game so we have a scout now and we can go scouting here and it uh, gives us a bonus when we explore these so we could go exploring these but although since I took the tutorial I have to go here so this gives me culture and uh, population a boost so we'll go there and we also got some uh, money from the barbarians and we found the Peloponnes so this is the Athens uh, sorry uh, Sparta and once we get the envoys we can start dealing with them because they have a powerful army and I would like the Sparta to be my ally there's no way I can at attack them with my weak noodle Athens so we'll have to get some uh, uh, envoys going so it, which means money and we, we need some more money but we, we're starting to get quite nice money and uh, tech is also balling, snowballing quickly here so we can uh, start training troops which might be really nice unlocks occupation worker uh, I'm gonna get the uh, mythology so we can get a uh, more culture so more research more quicker so now we uh now that i unlock this there is a new activity here available so i can put these uh, guys to sing in the swamp there produce a lot of culture for me so this is uh, actually basically immediate uh, instant another level of uh, technology as i do this so one science point immediately and i'm gonna get the military because i know i'm, I'm gonna need the military soon and I'm gonna throw, uh, see five, five people in there. Start producing half a unit per turn for me. And then we just click a few turns. We have uh, another scout now. Let's go uh, Thessalia, culture and population, culture and money. Let's go with the culture and population in there. This also is a uh, colonizable. The sea is not so much. And I'm gonna throw more more people in here. I'm gonna max my army as quick as possible. So my city crew there use the notification and we have another science. We can do mining, trading, and water supply. Increases population limit, unlocks building well. Uh, let's get the mining research done. You can also see that tech level is 7 here, you can see uh, some of these uh, have tech level requirements, uh, the science points and uh, craft, so we should, the earlier science basically. And uh, you can see that some of these are very requiring at the end here, 36. 
So here we have another activity now, it's basically a query, so it produces a production for you. Uh, do we actually have any buildings available? We could do vegetable garden, production 40. Yeah, let's put these guys in here, I want to get the vegetable garden built. And then there's, there's a random disaster, it seems. I know an eruption. Eruption. The people are scared, but luckily we are we are able. To. We were far from the epicenter, and all the refugees began to flock to us. So we get produce less culture for ten turns, but we get population growth for ten uh, turns as well. Quite nice. So there's a lot of these uh, events in this game, like that. Let's uh, lower this amount because I'm losing gold. And most of them are uh, pretty bad. And there's usually invasions that are the things coming at your way, and fighting those off is kind of the key of the game. There is a Roman invasion later on in the game, there is a, all kinds of invasions, and they get bigger and bigger, there is millions of roaming barbarians coming at your way, and you have to deal with those, which is why I'm trying to pick up and get some army going really quickly. So we can now build the vegetable garden, I'm gonna do that, which increases my farmer amount a lot. And I'm gonna drop all of these guys from there. I'm gonna drop all of these guys from here and here. So I'm gonna basically take everyone and put everything into go uh, farming, which uh, makes my population growth just explode. I'm gonna lose a bit of money for a while. That's fine uh, because uh, once you get uh, 14 people every turn, we're gonna be able to produce that money and everything again very quickly. So there we are. On the positive, I'm still gonna throw everyone in here and keep losing money. Although we are uh, losing uh, some of them amount there because uh, these people need to eat and not just grow. So now we have maxed farming, which will mean our population will be maxed very quickly. So we'll be throwing you guys there, and let's throw one guy in here. Enemy attacks. So there, there it is. Dorian invasion. Troops five. We have three troops on our side, and defense strength is much higher than their attack strength. It's still gonna be a close defeat. You can flee from them, which is not good, and they're going to take us 40 citizens and production, 100 production if we lose this fight. And we can also engage. Uh, we are gonna need more troops. So let's uh, hire some people. It's fine, I'm gonna lose some money, still. Main part of the tutorial is complete, well, we'll see. So here's the game help as well, if you need some. Continue by yourself. Uh, let's put people in there. So we have uh, basically all the buildings now maxed, which means I should probably uh, improve one of the buildings, so we could actually feed more of these people somewhere. There's a couple of more buildings also we can unlock. The shipyard here and the tax collector, which we should get soon. Yeah, tax collection. Let's, let's get that next. Unless there's actually something nice here, like army strength. Uh, also, we highly need a higher increase on population. The well would be nice. It's quite a lot of production though. Yeah, we need a. Uh, we need people. So how does this now look? We are a heroic victory now with the increased amount. So we're uh, now fully. Uh, our uh, population is full now, so we're gonna lower the amount of uh, farmers, so that we are still on the positive, but not much, which puts everything into the citizen here make a production uh, culture and uh, gold for me. So we should have an envoy coming soon. How about the generals? General is not gonna come anytime soon. So here's my first envoy. So we can now do diplomacy. So we found a uh, Corinth as well. I'm gonna do a... Uh, antipathy. They don't really like me. I'm gonna go and do relations with them. I'm gonna send them gifts. I don't wanna have Sparta attack me. Next one is coming in 90 gold, so it's 
about five turns. And we'll get uh, another envoy. And I'm gonna increase the relation with these guys all the way to alliance, at least. It's gonna take a while. Your uh, rep relation uh, slowly goes down as well if you don't do more in there, but it should be fine in five turns. We have one, one more scout, we have one more science point. The man with amazing abilities was born in our city. Today he has completed a great work of his life. So we got an extra science point from that. So we have uh, tech points. This one gives me the tax collection. And this one gives me the well. Let's get the well. This also increases our population. So let's get that and that. So we can put some people in the tax collection here, and we can put some people in there to grow the population as well. So there are flipping of coins there, which apparently somehow generates money. And we can explore one of the regions. This gives a... Yeah, let's go for the production and... Uh, production and uh, culture in Epir. And we got some buildings. So tax collectors, 220 tax collectors, that's a lot of money. Warrior limit, let's let's build that. So now we can uh, get some more soldiers. And you preferably uh, don't want to have too much people in here, because you kind of want to have them uh, in the building that's focused for the production of some things, as it produces much, much more of the stuff than uh, you would normally get having people here, but eventually you're gonna have uh, ended the situation where uh, you have a lot of people just uh, in the city center doing uh, absolutely nothing and just produces you the basic things all the time. That's basically what you want eventually. This should be now, yeah, five guys attacking into my 16 troops, that's gonna be not happy times for them. Plus we are getting 4.7 every turn, so we'll be quite high when they actually arrive here. I need to get some more gold, though. Mission complete. So we are 150 now, so we got 20 warriors and 50 gold. Well, sadness. Era of diplomacy. The dangerous situation is developing increase and only faithful allies will guarantee uh, of success, success in the future wars. So we get Cold growth now, so we got envoys, and we need to form alliance with three cities. And we can drop these guys again. Oh, you are so screwed now. Let's max the army. And we can do... We need a thousand production for this. We need. We definitely need that soon. Uh, let's do the tax collection building. It's a lot of tax collection. I'm gonna have to drop a few people from here. Let's get them in the tax collection. Actually, we don't really need this much army. So let's drop these to four, then we'll get... Let's just get a stupid amount of money. Let's get those envoys going. Probably even more. We we have a decent army for now. I I want some money, and I'm gonna improve relations there. They are sympathetic now, so we can do culture exchange, which gives uh, us a lot of culture, which means uh, taking up quickly. And uh, Dorian invasion is here. Let's engage them in the battle because uh, we have. 11 times the troops against them. So, engage in battle, and they all died, and nothing died from us. So, that was pretty successful. Dorian defeat. We have successfully repelled the Dorian attack. Their women and children have become our loot. What will we do with them? So, we could grow the population by 50, and we could get city. Settler champions, glory, culture growth 40%. That would be actually quite nice. And other relations. Well, I'm trying to ally them 
all of them, so I'm gonna execute the prisoners. Trial successful. So these are basically the trials, and we have successfully passed the trial, and we got some score from that. And... Friendliness. Let's uh, do culture exchange. We're almost at the alliance. So this should bring us to worship limit, so we can now propose an alliance with the Spartans. And Larissa is probably the next one to do as well. So we'll, we'll get the alliance next turn, and we can take up Birth of Science. That might actually work quite nice. Army strength, production, actually might be nice as well. Let's get the production first. So we need the thousand population increase. So I'm gonna drop the army production and I'm gonna start producing those and more money. So in an uh, 19 turns, we're gonna get the thousand population bonus. It's gonna take a while. So did we get the NY? No, uh, next turn. Now we can ally, ally the Spartans, so we'll get 20% of their armies in war, and they have pretty high army, so that's gonna be nice for me. And Larissa next, so we need uh, about two turns to actually ally them, and we can build a the marble quarry. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'm gonna drop people from there to here. And I'm gonna drop... Actually, no. Let's get the people in there. I'm gonna get the alliance first. Drop the neutrality. Oh, well. Uh, culture exchange with you guys. So we do need uh, two more. In a voice. So that's my. Oh, not an envoy. Ah, the next envoy is really expensive. Let's just uh, wait for the next envoy. And one extra size point. Let's spend that on the army string. No, let's let's do tax collector. Fifty percent more gold. Yes. So. There's my envoy. And we'll go culture exchange, alliance. One point seven K for the next oof. So now we're gonna drop all of you guys into there. That's fine. I'm I'm gonna lose a bit of gold for a while. I'm gonna get the thousand so we can start exploding the population. More scout. Money, 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 money. Uh, production. Let's get the production bonus. Another science point. Defense. That might be actually very nice to get. All resource growth increased by, yes, 5%. That's nice. And there we go. So now we can build a. Build a well. To increase my population by a thousand, or maximum number of population by a thousand. So we'll get that going again. And now we need the gold. And we really need uh, the better farmers. So actually, we should have. Uh, no, we'll do. We'll com com complete this farm as well for population growth. We have Persian in invasion. Oof, that's a lot of Persians coming my way. Our entire region will become province of Persia and will pay a great tribute. Oof, this is very bad. It's not that many turns. So this is why you need uh, the alliances to deal with the Persian invasion. Go. You guys go farming now. Let's grow some population.
Ooh, settlers. Yes, 300 and... It's like a... Um, almost a... Uh, it, it's over doubling my population. That's nice. Gives me a settler, so we can go... Settle Epir or Middle Greece. Let's go Middle Greece. Oh, I actually upgraded the colony. Oh, well. Should have uh, gone up here. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's throw everyone into the food production. So we're getting 121 people per turn. There we go. And now we are going to throw everyone into the army production. And in there as well. And money. I think I'm gonna lose uh, to the Persians. It uh, very much looks like that. One science point. Uh, there was the defensive walls. That might be an army strength. Defense bonus 20 Persians than walls. Yes, let's get that. <laughs> that might be quite important against these. Still so much of a difference. Uh, where was the wall? Thousand production. We might want to get that. I don't think we are going to get the alliance done in time. We have a general now. We could attack someone. Uh, maybe not. You can actually turn uh, generals into Envoys, I think, somehow. Make an envoy here, then. Damn, we're gonna lose against the Persians. Well, I think that might be a good point to stop the video as well. Well, let's see, uh, four more turns and let's see how this goes. Let's get the wall going. So there's my wall against the Persian invaders. <clears throat> Get those maxed. Might be better if I max this. I'm not gonna get the things done, sadly. Let's go. Agency, and we'll get that area discovered. Neutrality. Uh, you guys are higher than you? Yes. So this would, would be a good one to ally. I should have actually waited. If I actually had waited, I would could have gotten uh, this one to max. No, oh, well. We got science. So army strength is definitely the one to get. I want other points as well. Uh, tax collectors generate. One gold and production. Agora. Mining. More culture. And library. Yes. Yeah, this. Oh! Desert victory! Nice! So, pumping up the army and pumping up the defenses actually helped. So, we are gonna win this. Maybe. Let's do the library as well. Start pumping up some culture. Persian invasion. The Persian army is crossing the Hellespont Strait and is about to invade our lands. We have uh, to decide how to how we are going to defend ourselves. If the Persians succeed, our uh, entire region will become province of Persia and will pay a great tribute. Lead for mercy. No. Greece will be ravaged by war. So this was would be the best option, but we might not win. Uh, I'm gonna lure the Persians in Greece and give the main battle a light strike. Clear victory. We lost a lot of troops. 
and we got a improvement in there, and we got one civilization point. Nice. So that's how you get the civilization points. Champions glory, uh, but we got the ruination of Greece. All resource growth to end present. So this is gonna be really difficult for the future. Uh, ten turns of that. It's not gonna be very good. So when do I get the next envoy? There. So we can do some relations in here again. So next next envoy or general. So two turns will give me the next part. Farmer's efficiency by 10%. Let's go for that. So it means we can drop even more people from here. And put it there. So this is the point where you start getting a lot of people into here until you upgrade the next building and then you dump a lot of people into the next building. And one more turn. Should be two envoys. Nice. So we'll uh, do a alliance with them. So we have three allies now, 100 warriors and 1000 gold. The trade race. The markets are quickly developing we need to start buying production as soon as possible. The quicker I will reach uh, the goal, the more reward we get. So we need a trade generates production. 10,000 production from trade, which is quite a lot. Who is the biggest? You are the biggest. I'm gonna do a uh, some cultural exchange with you. So it gives me almost 4,000 science points. The uh, culture points, which gives the science for me. And uh, it might actually be a good idea to make this into an envoy and uh, do trading with them. Which I need, uh, I need traders, which means uh, I need ships. Uh, let's do another cultural exchange. Get some uh, free science. So we need a uh, we need boats basically now, which means we need a uh, tech level 17 for seafaring. So we could get uh, technology cost 20 percent less. That might be a good one to get. But anyways, I think this is enough uh, of the quick look into this one. So uh, as you can see, it does look like a mobile port and very. Very basic, but it actually does get into very interesting uh, min-maxing things and doing the wars and all that. And it gets even more better when you start take uh, well, you take over a whole of Greece and then you go into the bigger world. So it's actually a surprisingly good uh, good game and it's really fun to play in a small bits. And I would definitely want to get this on uh, mobile instead of on PC, to be honest. This on mobile on, on a go somewhere when you're on a bus or in a toilet or wherever would be really fun to click around for a while and then continue later on. But anyways, that's been my quick look into this game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on some other quick looks.